Hey folks, this is Mr. Curtis, and today we're going to be looking over at uh, line 39 in book two, the dot count, or sorry, watch the dot. So your very first note is a dotted quarter note reminder. A dot adds the, adds the value of the next lower rhythm on the note tree. Uh, another way of thinking about it is it adds half the value of the notes attached to you. So a dotted quarter note is worth one and a half beats. So when you're counting the rhythm here that's at measure one and at measure three, it goes like this. One tay, two tay, three tay, four tay. Do that again. Do that with me. Here we go. One tay, two tay, three. Oh, Mr. Curse made a mistake. Try that again. Ready, go. And one tay, two tay, three tay, four tay. Same thing, go. One tay, two tay, three tay, four tay. So once you have that rhythm in the pocket, you've gone through, you've pizzicatoed, you've counted and clapped it, um, you've shadow bowed it. Make sure you keep the bow even. Try to make the most beautiful bow tone possible. Double check your um, bow hold as well, right? So bent thumb way up on the tip. Make sure your thumb isn't turned sideways, but it's facing up into the bow. Curve pinky on top, violins, violas, cello bass, flop that over. Get your metronome set to 60. And we're off to the races here. This is all on the tapes, by the way. This is all two, three finger pattern stuff. Here we go. And third finger for our shoulder holders. One and two and ready, here we go. So you really want to make sure, especially on those dotted half notes, that you're making a smooth, even tone. For me, I still have a little bit of waver in my tone. I'm still working on that. For me, it helps to think about the smoothness of my wrist, the bending and the flexing and keeping the elbow still. Helps me smooth out that sound. Watch out for the repeat. There's no off reset. You're just going to free. You'll already be coming up in an up bow. So you'll just freeze and go back into a down bow at the beginning. Good luck.